Wendy, we're going to start recording here in a second. Okay, I'm ready. Is this, awesome. this is something, but is that? Make sure I can use those. Hi. 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 Thank you. 
They used to come in a little tin, but um, you can get these on Amazon, and this is the brand you get. The other brands are not are not what you want. I've tried a million of them. I've even made. I had a lady. I have a friend who, who come from India, grew up there, made her own excellent excellent cook, and gave me her recipes. It was really hard to find all the ingredients to uh, actually get this one to do it yourself. It's really good. She did a really good job. Of it. I've done it, but it's fine. You know, you'll you'll really enjoy it. And it's good on on lots of other things. Good on chicken tandoori. Chicken's a really good thing. I do it. The skewers with it. So raw. Okay, we're we'll gonna start out with the edamame salad, and um, I'm doing enough of this edamame salad for all of us today. So you don't really need as much as, um, as I'm going to be pairing here for you all. And first we're going to start out with a little red pepper and yellow pepper. And what I do is I cut the ends off. I discard these. I'll use them later and stuff and other stuff. And then I'll take in, I'll go through the body and kind of just get the seeds out and the ribbon, that white part, pull that out. Um, I'm gonna take all that out. And that way I have a flat surface to work with when I'm Julian and Dice. So first I'm going to julienne, which is, I uh, suggest don't go this fast. <laughs> Just take your time. And then you're going you're gonna to have the little sticks, which are nice as well to put in the salad. You don't have to dice them if you don't want to. Sticks are fine too, but we're going to dice them. You dice them this small, little French term called Renoir dice. Put that in there. I'm going to do all the peppers. Tell you to get a yellow pepper, but these came in a package today, and I just thought it would add to the color. Peppers, which are 15. 
Uh, we have that edamame. I'm not gonna add all this in here right now, but we'll do that later, but I'm gonna show you. Edamame is a soybean. You can buy these at Kroger's. Upside down. <laughs> Sorry, edamame. You can get them in the shop. And they usually at a Japanese restaurant, you go, if you ask, a lot of them will just give them to you. They're a little warm in the pods and you pop them out and you'll get one of these little beans. It's a soy bean and they're kind of salty um, the way they do it because they put salt, a lot of sea salt on them. And um, they're just kind of like a little snack, they're a great snack, just buy them like this, put them in the microwave, put a little sea salt on them and there you go. And they're really good for you. So we're gonna do the edamame in here as well. Cilantro, actually, I'm going to do the Bermuda onion. Next, Bermuda. I'm going to do two times of onion in here. Onion, peppers, edamame, cilantro. I always use fresh cilantro. I always buy the organic cilantro when I make Kroger's because it just looks better and uh, it lasts longer in the refrigerator. A little trick when you get uh, fresh herbs at the market this summer is to take um, a little paper towel paper towel wrap it around your place that in your refrigerator that way any of the moisture comes off it it doesn't make the, the, the herb soggy will help absorb all that and make you get a little more life out of your fresh herbs Basil works that way, so I'm from green onions. I do them all. <laughs> you just want to do a little rough dice on this. Just roll it up and then just kind of put it on there. Boom. One of my favorite things, and if you've been to my shows before, you'll know that I love these things. I have these at Kroger's too. Um, they save you a lot of trouble. If you've ever had to cut ginger, peel it, you get one little tiny piece of it. It's a real pain in the you know what? So, what they have are these really wonderful things. It's fresh. And what makes it better than what they've done before, especially with the garlic, is you should give you chopped garlic in a little jar. The minute you open it, it's gone in two weeks. I mean, it's just yellow. And it gets oxidized, so it's, it's, it doesn't really work, even in, in even in the olive oil. So this really works. The garlic really works because it stays. The air gets to it. What you put out is that's it, and then it, it's airtight and air back. So these stay once you open them. You have them for months. So we use the fresh garlic, and we, I don't want to talk about ginger. Everybody's cut ginger before. This is like a lifesaver, and it's already chopped up. It's already in there. Mixes well. 
And um, it'll, again, last you know, for a long, long time, a couple months in your paper. My other favorite one that I go through, I could be, yes, sir. Been here before. I'm not sure the protocol, but are we allowed to ask questions? Yeah. Where in Kroger here do you find that? Is that the spice aisle? Is there it's over by the. It's over by the um, produce. Okay. Where they have um, like watermelon cut, um, uh, celery cut oh, sticks, uh, <laughs> salad salad packaging <laughs> with different little you know, <laughs> chipotle <laughs> blend. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! This I use a whole tube of this in a seat uh, with tacos, or if I want to, I, know, I do a, a pork, mm -hmm. Spanish pork dish. This is the best. Or make it a little soft. Just mix in with a little mayonnaise, a little Tabasco, a little Worcestershire, a little tahini. Does anyone know what tahini is? Tahini. Oh, another show. <laughs> <laughs> so, what we got? We got. What do we got so far? We got. Our peppers, our onions, not the, we don't have the green onion yet. We got the red and yellow peppers, the Bermuda onion, edamame, and cilantro. Next, we're gonna put the ginger, which I know I didn't take it yet. There we go, okay. Next, we're gonna put the ginger. Jalapeno. And this jalapeno isn't too bad because um, it doesn't have the seeds. So if you use jalapeno, you use fresh jalapeno, you take the seeds out, you're going to get the nice jalapeno with just a slight kick. Not if you can get the seeds, you're going to get hello. Hello, how are you doing? All right. A little touch of garlic. All right, now we're going to do the green onions. This stuff for everything. All right, green onions. Snap them down. We don't want this furry stuff down at the bottom. If you've been to my restaurant, I use them for garnish. gets a little higher without smoking, which I'm probably going to smoke it because I'm going to be in a little hurry because I want to get it out to But, and I, um, this I've just started recently using. I was using clarified butter for a long time and it was a real, it was very expensive and it would flavor the food like butter. This doesn't mess with the food. 
and I can actually, you know, in the kitchen when you're doing stuff and you're, you're trying to get it off, sometimes you you might walk away a little longer than you really want to. And if you have butter, butter doesn't have a very high point and it'll start smoking immediately. And then you're, you're you know, you've got to toss it out and start all over again. This, this oil that I'm using here today is a little higher sizzle point and works really good. It doesn't interfere with the candle. So, you know, and that sterling salad oil will work similar to that. And you can get, I think you can get sterling salad at the, at Kroger's as well. Okay, let's turn it over here. So, let's do this is really, I, I, I get it in a gallon thing. It's really, really super duper. It's toasted sesame oil. Very strong. So you don't need much of it. As you can see, I'll show you this with this whole salad. And I'm going to add more of that to it. Just so everybody gets a good look. No more than that. And you're going to get a really nice toasted sesame. So we had an edamame salad. I think that's it, right? Here we got their directions or their ingredients. Is there anything that I missed? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to bring this around so everybody can see what's going on. Here. This, we're going to throw this on top of these noodles and I'm going to get ready to show you how to do this. That's noodles. It's very easy. You don't need anything. Yeah, it's not so many. That's what it's all awesome. about. Sauce. 
tested. Again, the ginger. That's garlic. Everything needs garlic. That's a jalapeno. And you can substitute. Some red pepper place and then I don't know if people like to make it spicy. You can put some cayenne in there, you can put some smoked paprika in there if you want to roll smoke. There's things you can do to this that won't mess with it too too much. And I'm going to be using my hands to get this all going and just kind of let it coat the noodles. This can be done up again, let it sit for about 20 minutes, and you're going to want to, uh, if you want, you can uh, put it in the refrigerator and uh, do it the day before, do it a couple hours day before, put it in the refrigerator, and you are there. Sesame noodles. Huh? Smell it. Am I getting out of here with the smell? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, you know what? The, uh, the cellophane noodles are really good too. The, the rice noodles are, matter of fact, they've done it that way. And um, they'll work just as fine. Okay, so now we have the edamame, we have the um, sesame noodles. Next, we're going to do this pan sear the tuna. I'm going to cut this tuna, I'm going to show you how to cut it, and I'm going to take a little break, all right? This is this is this is really exciting right here for me. This bad boy was probably swimming early this morning. All right. Um, I want to tell you one, one thing about this too. If we was if we was pulling this out of Elkhorn Creek. <laughs> You would have smelled this thing when you walked in the front door. You notice one thing, you don't smell anything. One thing about eating in a sushi restaurant, you smell fish, walk out. That's a, that's a sign of not what you want to have going into your body. Yeah, thank you see. Okay, so I'm gonna 
gonna start off, I'm just gonna take this little end piece, and then we're just gonna go down. And you wanna get them, because we're gonna pan through this, and we want it to be rare in the middle. We want that, if you could tune up, and people get it, I have to do it sometimes. I really try to tell them what's going on. Tuna cooked all the way, it's dry. It's dry as a cracker. And it's horrifying. And there's nothing you can do. You might as well just get a can of tuna fish and pop it on your plate. <laughs> but I have people that just say, I can't eat raw fish. And that's like, well, then you get the get the grouper, though, okay? <laughs> but they want it, and I have to do it. So I'm just going to tell you. Um, I would cut these about an inch, an inch. You don't need to have too much because it is awfully rich. You go back so they can see how to do that. The middle. So we can see these thick pieces. Chef, what kind of knife are you using there? This is a, just a fillet knife. It's a they call it a, a slicer knife. And uh, I got this at Seaworth. Does anyone know about Seaworth Restaurant Store? Do you know about Seaworth? No. Seaworth has everything you'll ever want to buy. It's where all the chefs go to buy their stuff. I literally only pay thirty five dollars for this knife, and I use I've already used it for probably two years. And I rarely have to sharpen it. But I do. You want to see what commercials? Yes. Yes, I did. They gave me a discount. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm playing right now. No, I'm not serious. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're a really good store, and you guys would love going there. And it only takes so much money because I promise you, you will spend it. Yeah. Restaurant stuff is crazy. It's all spent. But $35. And it's a great knife. And I mean, I had a sea bass this weekend that was so big that if I didn't have the knife, I wouldn't have been able to cut it because I needed this that much to, to play the, the, the skin off. The you said you don't have to be sharpened at that often. No, it's not, it, it keeps a really good head for a thirty clock off. Yeah. I mean, this knife cost me two hundred dollars. It's a um, William Sonoma Shun. Shun made it for William yeah. Sonoma. This is my favorite one. But anyway, so we're going to cut these, cut these tunas. We have nice thick pieces of protein. And I need 18 of them, right? So let's see if those. I get it from Louisville. All my stuff comes out of Louisville. Louisville. Louisville has a big, huge pub. Um, they have lobster tanks you can go swimming in. Um, they, they supply all the cold water lobsters that go to Texas, Las Vegas, um, New Orleans, um, Florida, all of that stuff. And then they also have Charleston Seafood. Mm -hmm. coming up. They're called Bluefin Seafood. They've been there since I was a young chef 40 years. I've been dealing with people. So I get it. I know them. Um, you know, they don't even mess with me to try to send me something irregular or try to mess up at all. And if they ever do, my some wild thing, they take care of it. Um, so most of all of my seafood comes out of Louisville, but I mean, it's modern days. Like people ask me, so well, how do you get Lake Victorian perch like in Africa? Well, they pack it on ice and they throw it on a leer jet and it's here in 17 hours. It's just what it is today. I mean, it's a small world. How can you have, um, you know, Capari tomatoes in the middle of Twitter? I mean, you guess I said, well, they're somewhere in the world that's summertime, and that's where I got them. So, yes, we got a, you know, we got Louisville, which really helps us out. I mean, the, the, the scallops that I use at my restaurant, I had a lady last time, she goes, I love scallops. I said, 
These are the best scallops I've ever served. I've been cooking 40 years. But the last three years, I've had the best scallops I've ever had. And they come from Maine. This guy does it. He signs on the thing, signs the bucket of, of scallops, and he's, he, uh, he has his phone number there. I called him. He called me back. They're really good time. I can't believe this guy. He's the CEO. He's, on, he's in the airport getting ready to go on vacation. He calls me, a little tiny chef in, in Georgetown, Kentucky. And I told him about his scallops. And they are. This lady goes, these scallops are like, um, you know, scallops are good, but these are in a different level. And they really are. And uh, you can just probably just, you know, do a carpaccio with them. Just thinly slice them with a little soy sauce. They don't even need to be cooked. They're unbelievable. Scallops. So, I mean, you know, we can we can get stuff right here. I, I got in Red Book. Does anyone know Red Book, the magazine? I got voted in Red Book out of 50 states, the state of Kentucky, as having the best seafood in the state of Kentucky. I'm in Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why. And you guys are going to get the experience of, I mean, a 10 ain't going to get them. Up. So here we go. All right. Well, we got uh, one, two, five. I need. 17. Once I get done cutting this, you can watch me cut this and then we'll take a little break. I'll show you how I season these up and we'll uh, we'll start plating. We'll start pan searing these. And you guys, when you watch me do this, when you watch me pan sear, I hope that you'll be able to do this. I try to pick things for these shows that you can actually do. You know, that I'm not going to I'm not going to be using the greens you can't get. Using equipment you can't buy. The more and, than and, 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 and try to. We would be getting these already cut or closer. Yes. Okay. Yes. But there is a little seafood place in Lexington uh, that, that you can buy a tuna loin. But you just need to tell me one number one tuna loin. Number one tuna, bloodline now. Is that the place on Bishop's? You know, I'm not real sure where it's at, but I know. I, know, I, know I think you're talking about it. Huh? Yeah. We're running. Uh, it's hard to hear. Um, 
No, no. I think the dog's back there. It's a learning curve for me too. I mean, oh, wow. yeah. to keep up with that, so. And then working here. How's the video? It's great. And much better since the, the lady moved over. I can see the chopping board now. It was very well done. Good. <laughs> I hope I, I'm not talking too loud. What's that mean? I hope I'm not talking too loud. I didn't want her to hear that. No, no, you're, you're fine. Yeah. Is it much more clear than the uh, last time, I guess? Yes, last time it was a little blurry, but today it's just perfect. Very awesome. clear. And I love all the views. When you go from the um, to the close up and when he was slicing the tuna, that was great. And then moving over to the um, surface area on the stove, that's great too. Yeah, we hope to get some real close pictures on the stove. So, yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. Just great. It actually looks like a restaurant. <laughs> well, it is. It is. Exclusive restaurant. Yeah. I know that she was so amazing because I know my family has been here since the beginning of America. So it's like, oh, you're waiting. 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 You're wai
Oh, what was your question? Was I was just nice. telling Steve, I really appreciated his close up on the prep yes. table because I did not, I could not find the tandoori spices. I didn't know wow. if they were in a package. I was looking for a jar. And so him doing that close up on the, the prep table allowed me to see what I need to look for to purchase. In a weird way, you know, when we do the, the opening scene, could be a picture of the prep table instead of Bluebird Studio. Yeah. Might be kind and of I love, Don't get me wrong. I love seeing Bluebird House and yeah. Studio. <laughs> that too. I love well, seeing that. I, I think uh, we, we could somehow think about it and figure it out, but I, I totally agree with you. But totally today, agree with you. For example, the Bermuda, Bermuda onion, I've never seen one or heard of one. So it was great for Steve to zoom in on that table. And I saw Bermuda the onion, now I know what to look for. You know a Bermuda onion, it's a purple onion. Well, we've never called it a Bermuda onion. We just called well, it a, we're from, a we're red from onion. Alabama. We're in Alabama, girl. Alabama, it's a purple onion. <laughs> Or some people call it a red onion. It's okay going up. Do you have any fear of heights coming down? Oh, I know you got hang on. Right. Oh, I know. Yeah, we still have the side shoes up there. We were doing facials for girls' weekend and facials and then the pedicures and it's a red stack. Oh, God, I'm so awesome. 
we're doing it for 18 or 17 people. You can do it for four or six. This is on your ingredients as well. They sell this in smaller bottles at Kroger's. The stuff is a sweet chili sauce. This just adds to the whole tandoori thing. And what I what I'm going to do with this is garnish your plate, and you'll see it. I'm just going to give it a little half moon around the around the plate, and uh, put a little wasabi. And I'm going to tell you, there's going to be wasabi on your plate. Okay. So this this is the this is the real deal. Wasabi. A lot of your Japanese places have powder and they add water to it, and it's it's hot. This is another level. This is actually where they take wasabi root and rub it on a file, and what comes down off that is what you're going to be eating today, um, my friend. Yeah. I love it. I and this, to it. I like major you thought you thought you could eat tuna <laughs> or wasabi like you do in the Japanese restaurant? Well, you eat a lot. You can handle a lot. You do not want to do this with this. You, you will get a really nice your whole lungs and. Nostrils and whole head will explode. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna put it on there, but I really want you to be careful. A little green thing, okay? All right. We got the, I talked about the Mount Boy, we got the wasabi, and a mommy salad. Okay, all right. Now, if you want to test, make sure that you're up to par. We're not there yet. Come on, full blast right now. You want to go on. You want to make sure when you put this parchment in, just take the tip of it and uh, make sure that you're. Uh, <laughs> Maybe I should have turned this on before we went on break. You get about a small eye. Are you on the front page here? Or yes. It's one of the reasons I built the house. Yes. Yes. That was hard to find. The gas lines. Only person I know has gas lights. So the lights out front are not bulbs. It's gas. Mm -hmm. They're all LED. Once it does get going, it'll go. The main thing is don't get in a hurry. Don't, don't put it in beforehand. Getting a little sizzle. Thank 
There we go, one more time, buddy. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, look at that. Mm. You can see it tight enough on the sides there. That's right where you want it. How long your side? Probably about two minutes. Oh, man. Oh, perfect.
Yes, I am. I was waiting to see if we were going to have a, a question and answer time. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, but I thought it was great. Um, I, I loved the show. I loved the recipe and everything. It's just I I have never really cooked Asian food or Indian food, and so I just had a just a few questions. But um, if if you want if you want me to go ahead and turn off, I could just text you the questions. Okay. Okay, because I'm, uh, I can hear you. I can hear you. Hey, good afternoon, Chef Rodney. How are you? Good afternoon. How are you doing today? Fantastic. This was a fantastic show. I loved your recipe. I loved the presentation. It was a lot of fun. I've never cooked um, Indian food before, so this was great for me. But I do have just one or two questions if you've got just a second. Right here. Okay. Uh, the Adama me that I bought was frozen. So do I thaw it out and cook it, or do I just thaw it out and, and use it raw? The tuna that you bought? Adama me. Oh, edamame. Edamame. Yeah, you just let it thaw out in the back, and then you, you're, you don't need to. So. Don't, I don't need to boil it. Okay. All right. Well, that was one question. And the other question was I could not see uh, exactly everything that your assistant put when she was plating the dishes. I saw that she put the sweet and sour sauce or the chili sauce, but it looked like she was putting something else on top. Uh, that was the edamame salad. Okay. But when she played oh, with the sprinkle stuff. Yeah. I'm just going to show it to you. There's a sprinkle stuff that also that chili sauce, like that sweet and sour chili sauce. I, I, I saw your video, Jane. Thank you for video oh, yeah. taping that. Ingredient. Make sure I'll take a picture of it for you and send it to you. Yes, that, that. You can get this on Amazon too. And what is it? Okay. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna take a picture of this. Okay. And I'm gonna send it to Jane, and she can give it to you. All right. But it's we'll just a wasabi um, rice seasoning. Okay. It's wasabi rice seasoning. And that's all you have to do is is go on Amazon, and this will come up. Okay. All right, and then um, was the wasabi sauce on the side or was it on top of the tuna? This wasabi. The wasabi, um, we put that on the side. Definitely goes on the side. It's very hot. Okay. All right. I mean, like crazy hot. Crazy. <laughs> okay. All right. That's all the questions I had. You did a great job of explaining everything else, and I really enjoyed it. Thank you so much. I'm we're gonna cook it tonight. Yes, I'll send you a picture. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Jane. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Having pistachio ice cream, homemade pistachio. Oh, wow. How wonderful. Um, oh, and you made that. Chef did. Ooh, awesome. Perfect to go with that dish. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Are you ready for me to um, sign off? Or did you want me to talk to Steve or anything? I think we're ready. I think that's it. Okay. I thought it, thought it was great. I loved it. It was wonderful. Thank you. Bye, Thanks, bye. guys. See you next time. <laughs>
Thank you. 